in the sad device of martial artism, marks of the Air Force, country lost the greatest air warrior it has ever produced. Throughout this leadership time, he successfully led the Air Force to come out successfully in all the crises the country faced in the skies. His daring leadership qualities during the Bangladesh war can be never, will never forget. As a missionary, he was aware that the country will face more and more threats in the skies. So, during his time, he concentrated his energy for the modernization of the Indian Air Force. His contribution for the modernization of the Indian Air Force, he cannot forget. He would have faced passing away. He will remain as an inspiration to the generations of air warriors of the Indian Air Force. Apart from a military man, as a human being, his example will inspire not only the military people, but even others also. A simple, highly cultured, humble, and poor machine. He will disarm them, disarm them by his smile. And he will be able to give a full impression about him. That is channeling quality. He contributed a substantial portion of his savings to the welfare of the armed forces. I once again salute to the memory of the brave hero, bravest air warrior that I've ever seen. I think the loss of uh, 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 much of the air force. Arjun Singh Ji is a, a, a deep wound to the nation. He was a towering personality and he had a, a great presence. And having uh, seen the entire uh, career of the Indian Air Force and its um, origins in the Royal Air Force, the Marshall has been a witness to the history of the Indian Air Force and whom he nurtured and gave shape to. And uh, the nation will fondly remember his uh, role during the Indo-Pakistan War and his subsequent role in shaping the, the future of the Indian Air Force. Despite his stature, he was a humble man. Uh, a very affectionate personality and uh, uh, I think he will be missed at the official functions where his uh, covering personality could not be missed. Apart from that, I think uh, his uh, advice and his uh, notings as far as showing up the nation's defense capabilities were concerned are invaluable and I hope that we will be able to implement them in the coming years. The passing away of the Marshal of the Indian Air Force is truly a very sad event in which the country and the Indian Air Force has lost a true icon. We shall always remember the great contribution he made to the Indian Air Force, his very humane and philanthropic approach which he had towards the Air Force, and the force structuring and the visionary thinking that he did to make the Indian Air Force what it is today. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. As far as 
all of us in the armed forces are concerned. Today is a sad day because we have lost uh, a truly remarkable military leader and an icon for all of us. Uh, I know him very well and he was always someone who motivated and inspired all of us. And uh, he was always upright. He was, till the very end, physically and mentally there. Always looked at all of us as his children and encouraged us. So I can only say for all of us, it is an irreplaceable loss. And uh, we pray for his soul to rest in peace. And may God bless the members of this family to bear this great loss. Uh, we are together with them in this hour. As far as his professional life is concerned, I think... Uh, everyone knows that there was no one who could parallel his achievements and he bore great responsibility at a young age as the, one of the perhaps youngest air chiefs and also steered the Air Force uh, under his guidance while he was the air chief as also when he was uh, the Marshal of the Air Force. So I can say that uh, personally I have uh, been blessed with his kindness. He was the one who gave me the proud privilege of having my book, A Soldier's General, released by him at uh, the um, uh, launch at Delhi in 2012 and throughout he encouraged me in my career when I was chief and thereafter subsequently as a governor. Yeah. I have uh, very respectful uh, regards for him and his gracious and wonderful wife Deji and uh, we definitely will never, never be able to fill this vacuum by his absence. Yeah. Thank you. Well, it has been my great pleasure to have known the Marshal of the Indian Air Force. Uh, when I was serving Delhi as a chief, and he was a great luminary, a person who had been leading all the while by example. Everybody should be, should be well aware of his professional acumen, of what he has done for the country uh, during the wars of 1965 and, of course, well before that himself, when he was in the RAF, etc. in World War. A perfect human being, wonderful inspirator. Uh, it was great to see him going all these years. It's very unfortunate that he is now no longer but unfortunately these are things that one cannot uh, stop but his memories will remain in I think all those who were in service or who have uh, even known about him over the years. May his soul rest in peace. Thank you. Thanks indeed, sir. You have an outstanding flyer, far excellence officer. People would look at him and try to emulate him. He provided great leadership in peace as well as in war. It is every aeroplane that was inducted in the Air Force, he flew it and he flew it like a fighter pilot. Uh, Future generations will remember him with a lot of respect and a lot of regard. My 
wholehearted condolences on his passing away. 